When learning to program, uh, particularly on a desktop computer, a traditional starting point is to write an application called Hello World. And it does exactly that. It, it writes the words Hello World to the screen of the computer. Now, our embedded board, of course, doesn't have a screen. But that doesn't mean we can't output text. And rather than try and explain it, I'm just going to show you a demo. And then later in the course, we may pick this up again uh, when we've learned a bit more. But just so we can do Hello World uh, and introduce an important function in C called printf, let's do a demo. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is plug in my embed board. Okay, I hear a sound from Windows and the usual mass storage device interface appears. But these embed boards don't always just present themselves as mass storage devices. In fact, because it's all done over USB, it can appear to be many things. Um, so I'm going to run something called Device Manager in Windows. Say yes to that. OK, and under Ports, Common LPT, I see this one here, SD Microelectronics SD Link Virtual COM port. Now the important bit is this, COM8. So on my machine it's COM8. On yours it might be different. So I've got to remember, COM8. Okay. So essentially what's happened by plugging in the USB, uh, this embed board is presenting itself also as a legacy serial port. This is a way of interfacing two completely distinct machines over a few wires. OK, so let's create a program to send some text over that serial port and make it appear on the PC. That might sound complicated, but actually it's not. Let's, let's start. So first of all, I need a new program. It's for the Nucleo F401 in my case. I'm going to base it on uh, Blinky again and call it Hello World. OK. And we let the embed website create my project for me. And that will be the familiar Blinky application. And I'm actually going to remove almost all of the code. I'm going to leave the while loop in to just do nothing. Now, if you recall from the notes, this was where we created a digital out object. So its type is digital out, its name is my LED, and I told it what pin to use. Um, well, just like a digital output, we also have a serial object. Now, I can never quite remember all the details of all the objects, so in here we can go and have a look under classes. A class, incidentally, is a C++ language feature we'll talk about another time. Serial, and there we go. Um, and here's a nice little example which I'm going to use. So, USB TX and USB RX, they're the bits I want. So back to the compiler. So get rid of that. So the type of object is serial. I'll use the same name as then PC, USB TX, and USB RX. TX stands for transmit, RX for receive, by the way. Another convention. OK. Um, I'll save that. Now, if I want to write text to a terminal, I would use the very well-known and well-documented formatted print command printf, and I'm going to do that now. So, but I have to do it like this. The object I am printing on is PC dot, and then it's printf, and in quotes, of course, hello world. Now, for this to be displayed on, a, on the screen, I'm going to have to then put what's called a new line, and that will force uh, the, the text to actually be sent. And don't forget the semicolon on the end of every statement. OK, that's my program. Now, if I run that now, of course, where's that going to appear? Well, this is where we need another program. And I'm using one called Putty, and that's installed in the lab. It's also free. It's listed as one of the useful bits of free software. Now, I've already configured my serial port but I'll show you the settings. So what you need to do is go to serial. Serial line is COM8. The speed is 9600. Both of these are set to none. 
All right. And then back to session, you choose serial. Make sure this is COM8 and 9600. You can now give that a name and save it, but I'm just going to load mine and then open it. So what we've got here is a program running on the PC that is also talking down that same serial interface. And notice it's COM8. So the very last thing to do is to build and run my code. Save it on the desktop. Drag it in. Wait for it to run. And Hello World appears on the terminal, on the PC. And we can actually send data back the other way as well. So we can do all the things that we would do if we were learning programming on a desktop computer using an embed board because very conveniently they've added serial over USB, making it very similar to do that. Okay, and uh, I'm going to leave it at that.